Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is C++ from Scratch. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about the basics of file IO with fstream from our input output library. So oftentimes inside of our programs, we want to read uh, data from some external source, or we want to write out something like logs or data from our program to some file. Now, what we're going to be looking at today is kind of the basics of how we can do this with fstream, which is part of our input output library in standard C++. So we'll look at a simple example where we first say write data out to a file. So we're generating some say uh, data set. And then another example where um, we read data from that same file using these file streams. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll open up a new example here. And we'll call it say ofstream.cpp. So we're standing for output file stream. So if we go ahead and take a look at the right hand side of the page here, we've got the uh, CPP reference page for the standard library header fstream. And as part of this fstream, right, um, we have this OF stream and basic OF stream, right? Which is for, uh, you know, this implements high level file uh, stream output operations. So let's go ahead and open that up. And as part of this, we have this output file stream where we can write things out to files. So we'll go ahead and start with including F stream here, right? That's where all of these things are defined. And then of course, we're going to need a main function with a return zero. Now let's say we want to write out, um, you know, some squares of numbers out to some files. So zero squared, one squared, two squared, um, so on and so forth. So how would we go about doing that? Well, we can start off by creating some output file stream that we want to write to. So we'll create some std of stream and we'll just call it output and we'll initialize it with the file name that we want to write to. So we want to write to some file called data.text. Then inside of a loop, so we'll loop for say 10 iterations here. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. We're just going to write out to this output file stream here. And we can write to this file stream in a very similar way that we would um, print things out using std cout, that cout stream object. So we can use the exact same operator. So we can do output and then this less than less than sign. And then what we want to print out to our file or save to our file. So here we'll just print out um, i times i, so uh, squares all, from zero all the way up to nine. So zero squared, one squared, two squared, all the way up to nine squared. And then we'll have these separated by some space here. So we'll print out uh, or save some integers and then separated by a space. And then finally, we'll just write a new line character to the file um, so that it ends with a new line character. Okay. So that's kind of the basics of how we can write to files here. So we can treat this output file stream object much like we would something like uh, studc out. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and minimize it and we'll compile this output file stream.cbp. Um, we'll call our output executable just something like of stream. Okay, so we went ahead and compiled that. We have our executable. Let's see what happens when we run this. So we can go ahead and run this output file stream and you can see we get uh, this data.txt or data.txt generated. And if we go ahead and read the contents of this file, so we'll open up data.txt, you can see we have all of our squares of i. So zero squared, one squared, all the way up to nine squared, separated by spaces and a new line character at the end, right? Exactly what we sent to that um, OF stream, uh, that output um, variable that we created. Okay, so that's the basics on how we can say, write some data to some file here. Uh, but how do we get this data back into our programs? How do we read it back in? Well, just like we have this basic OF stream that's part of this, uh, um, this, this standard library header F stream, we also have um, IF stream, right? Or IF stream, an input file stream that we can use. So let's go ahead and open up that CPP reference page and see how we can read data back into um, our C++ programs. So here we'll create another executable called IF stream.cpp. And inside of here, we'll include fstream again, right? If stream is just another file stream, so it's defined in the same header. And then we'll also include IO stream, right? So we can just print out the data that we read back into our program. Okay, so from here, we'll of course need a main function. And what we can do is we can start off by creating some if stream object, right? So, you know, what we want to use to um, read in data, right, uh, from a file, some, some input file stream object. So we'll create some std if stream. We'll just call it input and we'll initialize it with the path to the file that we want to read from. So in this case, our file's in the same directory, so we can just put data.txt or data.txt. This is the file we're going to open and read from. 
So in, inside of the file, we have a whole bunch of integers. So we'll read out our data into some integer that we'll just call data. And we can read out this data inside of a loop here. So we'll go ahead and use a while loop for this. And we'll say while uh, input, and then we'll use uh, another kind of right, this double chevron, double less than, double greater than sign. And this time we'll use this double greater than to say we want to uh, get some input or get some data from our input if stream object. And we want to read that out into our data variable here. So just like we use the double less than to signify where we have some output, we use this double uh, double greater than sign to uh, say that we have some input from some stream object. So we're getting some input from our input if stream object, and we're putting that input inside of data, which is an integer. So, you know, the nice thing about these input file stream objects, right, they can help us out. We don't have to handle, you know, in a special way, the spaces and the new line characters we have in our programs, right, at least for a simple example like this. So then this will just keep running until we've read all of the data from our program. So when we run out of data, right, we'll break out of this while loop, right? Okay. So here, let's just go ahead and print out whatever we read in from our input file stream object. So we'll just print out whatever data is our integer separated by a space. And then we'll, of course, just print out, say, a new line character um, at the very end, right? Okay, so that's kind of the basics of how we can read data in. So all we're doing here is creating some input file stream object where we're opening up some file named data.txt, right? This is the path to a file. Then inside of a while loop, we're reading data from input into our data variable here, which is an integer. We have integer data. And then we just go ahead and print out all of that data right inside of this loop and a new line character at the end. So we'll go ahead and save this and then we'll compile this if stream .cpp, um, and we'll just call the output executable just something like if stream. OK, so let's go ahead and run this if stream executable. And we see we get a printout of all of the data inside of our uh, data.txt file, right? We read that data back into our program. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for today. That's kind of the basics of use, using this OF stream and IF stream, this output file and input file stream objects in C++. Now, these things can be configured in many different ways. So you can, say, write in different modes. You can append to files instead of overwriting files. You can seek locations inside of files um, and so on and so forth. But we'll just leave it at the basics here today. Now, as always, you can find this and any of my other examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. So right on the front page here, you can see the CPP from scratch. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.